Greetings family, this is Bomani Tayemba and I'm here with my wonderful sister, the positivity queen, Eve Sonika. How Greetings, are you? Greetings everyone! We are back! Yes family, we just came back from our Ghana December 2019 Journey of a Lifetime. That was December 24th to January 4th and uh, everyone got back on the uh, 5th. Uh, so that was our, our wonderful uh, getaway. And my sister, you join us for the first time. I remember last time you, you caught us at the end of the journey, mm -hmm. but this time you join us for the full journey. And just want to get your feedback uh, as far as your uh, experience as someone that's already been to Ghana and may not have not necessarily been to all the places that we have on the itinerary. Absolutely. First of all, before I go any further, I must tell you, you did an absolutely amazing job. When I tell you, it was absolutely fabulous. It was fabulous in every fashion, from the food, from the company, from the places, the information. It was so much love on this tour. I mean, I felt the family. It was just absolutely everything and more. And I, I humble myself and tell you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love greatness, and this man is full of it. Well, appreciate you, sister. That's from, uh, you know, I always tell people that um, everything we do is straight up tactical and you have to plan everything ahead of time so here at Bomani Technology we have you know the highest technology of just you know computer technology softwares and things like that and you know and we just plan everything out mm -hmm. and and you know we have that wonderful tour book and everything is literally planned out in this book as far as your itinerary your schedule what you're doing that way everybody that's you know, in the flow of what we're doing, especially the tour members and mm -hmm. the people that's you know working operations for us, they know what's going on. And all you have to do when you get up every day is follow the schedule. Read the itinerary. <laughs> follow the it's schedule. there for a reason. It's one thing I will say just for being uh, being playing a role as far as just being able to sit back and relax and enjoy the, the tour. Ladies and gentlemen, we must read the itinerary. That makes everything go smoothly. When you read, you find so many incredible things. You won't have to say, what's going on? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's the main thing. So I always tell people, everything we do is on our website, africaforafricans.org. Once you go there and you go to the main menu, I mean, uh, information about our Black Star Pan-African uh, community, uh, and then information about all the tours that we have and every all the schedules are out at least one year ahead of time. Uh, so literally, you know, when we do conference calls, you yes. know, we go through these things and then we you know edit the call and upload it and you know give everybody enough information. So if you have thirty to forty people, like people ask how you move thirty to forty people around, well first of all, majority of people have to be clear about what we're doing. Excellent. And you know that way you don't get you know, left left at the hotel but times and everything are you know, put together. So that's you know, so we take it serious uh, because one of the things is you know that I'm always encouraging my brothers and sisters to do is to step their game up and be more organized and have you know have things planned out and stop with the last minute rat race uh, mentality. You know we already behind as a people, so you know we gotta you know step it up. So appreciate you acknowledging that, and but I tell people we put a lot of work into it and. You know, it's, and it's not just and it's not as easy as it appears. You make things, you make it appear like everything is just planned out, everything is just running smoothly. But as you're going through the flow and you're seeing things that are are occurring, we on the outside have no idea. So what do you do to help to I guess to alleviate the stress or keep things going without everyone being made aware of the problems? No, I mean you talk directly to the people that you're dealing with. Like, you know, I don't do a bunch of middlemen, so all the people that I deal with, the transportation company and the tour guys, everything is just a direct communication. Mm -hmm. So if you have a problem, there's no bunch of people to go through. You know, I'm one of the people that do not like bureaucracy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Process after process after process of people are not clear about what bureaucracy is or spinning around and going from left to right, back around and not getting much accomplished. You know, so you just talk directly to the source, yes. and, and like I tell people, if you have any issues, don't complain to your tour members, don't make a scene, because mm -hmm. no one can help you, just talk to those who are in charge, me yes. and my crew, and we fix it. You know, and, and, and everything it. does get fixed, I will say that, you know, this so is an incredible tour. It's, you know, it's like, you know, like, I tell people, when you think about, like, naval operations, like, they can't just, like, make up stuff at the last minute, you out there, you get blown out the water. Mm -hmm. 
you know, everybody dies, you know, and it's like you literally have to take your logistics serious, you know, your bus, uh, your movements, and those are the things that we provide for your family, this, and everyone who I work with, most of the people are the same people, so you're, you know, you're also trying to grow your brothers and sisters to take things to another level, you know, and, uh, you know, that's one thing that anyone who uh, been around me, you know, can say that, you know, it's all about us doing better and better and better and taking it to another level. If we're not working exactly. towards that, you know, then what are we working towards? So that's what you saw from the years and years of work of planning things out and making sure that we as a people get the best journey of a lifetime, the best connection to our ancestral land. A lot of times we don't have things set up or, or, or organized for us. Like you work, you know, you work at the airport and I've been there too. It's like the most, you have like people from all the different parts of the world, race, color, everything. So, you know, but it's like, a lot of times, you know, we need to have our own space to be able to come together, network, be able to enjoy like social nightlife. Like one of my favorite things is, I tell people I work all the time here. <laughs> I'm not out like at six, six o'clock, we are locked down and I'm here Night working life. business <laughs> here. So it's like when we get to Ghana, you know, everything is on the schedule is to show you around from morning to night. So if you have the energy, like you came out with us a few nights and it's not like big partying where you just out five, six o'clock, you know, you know like, you do, <laughs> like you party in Miami or something. Mm. You know, we just socially go out, we talk, we connect, we network, you know, so, so I tell you it's created so we can connect and really just enjoy. So that's one thing I want, you know, people to really feel. And you do feel it. I mean, it was absolutely, I think the first evening, the whole tour, we all were walking down the streets and just in harmony, just blending right in, and just the feeling of just, it's just us. Just walking Africa in the yes. nighttime, just going to you our social. You don't have to look <laughs> over, you just us. It was just incredible. Like, even from the youth to the elders, everyone was relaxed, and you just really felt at home. Really. Absolutely, family. Family, this is like, this is a 12-day itinerary, 10 days in country, mm -hmm. you know, so... Um, you know, so you, you know, when you look at these schedules, you may say, there's no way we can do all of that, trust me. I've done even more complex schedule, four countries, I'm sorry, three countries, you know, um, 14 day itinerary. Yeah, you know? that's true. When you're focused, yeah. you'd be amazed with things you can get accomplished. Yeah, but remember, we have to learn to plan ahead and be organized. Mm -hmm. So when you're dealing with us as an operation, and then also my sister, uh, you know, the, the, you know, you're ready to take folks to Ghana, and I've, you know, I've been always telling you that all you just got to do is do it. <laughs> so, you know, you, you, you wrote the itinerary and you made your, your changes, and as you, you see, once you start writing schedules, it's just basically planning one day at a time, the next day, and everything. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm then, like so, I'm so elated. I'm just like super excited. I'm going to take everyone back to Queen to Ghana, Queen of Africa, and um, we're going to get it in. I'm bringing a special guest, my forever ever Miss Kenya Kicks. She's going to do one night of comedy. So I think that's the little spin that I'm going to add on it is um, when we do that nightlife journey, I'm going to give them um, some comedy on this tour anyway. And I think they'll they'll like that because we got to, we, I think what I, one thing that I really love and respect, I, I enjoyed the spirituality we got. I enjoyed the fun, the nightlife that we got. And um, I'm truly grateful. I'm grateful for the opportunity of participating in your tours and meeting, meeting um, a great group of people who turned out to be really yes, nice. Yes, absolutely. Nice, nice new, my nice new family. You and, know? and no one was complaining or beefing about yeah. anything. So it was like the last two tours I had, um, South Africa November and Ghana December, perfect because a lot of times you usually have one or two people and I'm like, how did they get on the trip? <laughs> you know, it's not this I, you don't want, exactly, last was perfect. It was like, you know, you just, you know, when you, when you have people, you know, in a good flow of energy, you know, you want, you don't want that one bad yes. apple to ruin a moment. Absolutely. You know, because you know, it's, it's kind of like, you know, you know, you know, when people say that you blow, you know, don't blow my high. Mm -hmm. You know, when you just on that level of high and you having a great time in Africa, last thing you want to hear is somebody yes. complain about something that's not really a complaint because, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I tell people, I, try, I was there with you, that's like, I was there with other people I experienced and I was like, I'm there on a journey too, and it was like, you know, I don't see nothing to complain about, but you got to not have a bunch of expectations, you know, the Senegal and the Gambia tour, the South Africa tour is four star lodging, mm -hmm. four star hotels, in Ghana, it's a different itinerary, it's like real roots and culture, black 
hotels and you know in the Micklin, um, especially one in Kumasi is very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we, have, we have bed and breakfast uh, spots like One Africa and the Carrick Hotel. So mm -hmm. we, you know we, we, you don't you're not at Coconut Grove. You know and you know so you just tell people literally just come there and just enjoy it and once you experience it as you see when you, you come back you like wow well, you know it's it just really brings you closer to home you know, you know so definitely anyone that's trying to do these journeys like yourself you're like you know you want to do these journeys and I'll try to set one up for you and you, you know I guess it was like you get a little cold feet but it's like come and experience the journey you have um, to. and you know you know I'm one of the people that I'm, I'm you know my brothers are people are always trying to share information I do a lot of technology and a lot of business and at no point, you know, I'm ever not like in training mode. Like when I'm talking to y'all, so about when we gonna start, I was like, we've been start like long time ago. <laughs> I was like, we never stop because everything we're doing, from He's the camcorder setup to the lights to everything, Absolutely. logo, uh, branding uh, to all of the files, uh, the presentation. Yes. You know, and we, we need more people to put that work in to connect with our people to Africa and not just look at, oh my God, this is the way I can make some money. I mean, I, you know, whenever you're in business, you know. You put that work in, the money is going to come. Absolutely. Uh, you know? And you're doing what you love. Yeah, you so, know, so the main thing is to perfect it. Do what you love. Absolutely. You know, and put that time in. And yourself. I'm ready. That's what I'm doing. That's why I'm like this. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. But I'm also saying for some of our other okay. folks, because I've had a few people okay. who said they wanted to do some of these things. Uh -huh. And basically, when I talk to them, and, I'm, and you know, it's like, they realized, they was like, that's a lot of work. I was it like, is. I was like, everything's a lot of work. For me, it's better to get into a business where it's more complex, and then you have to like, you know, study and step your game up. But but if you're loving it, then even though it may be your work, it's a work that you love to do. So and you're gonna grow. So if it's something out there that you know you really like doing and you're not doing it because of fear, because of doubt, <laughs> <laughs> like I was, because of fear, because of doubt, or because you were just afraid to take that step and walk out there. You have two examples sitting right here in front of you. This gentleman walked out on faith, and he's doing it. Walked out on faith. <laughs> well, yeah. they were thrown out, off that forced out, yeah, whatever, I'm, I'm, yeah. however way you want to say yeah, it. Yeah. But you didn't Everything go back, you, and you continue to do it your yeah, way. Are talking about uh, uh, yeah, my last years on the plantation? Um, <laughs> on, on the plantation. <laughs> Yeah, it's not walking out on faith. It's kind of like uh, it was a long Jumping plan. That was, no, it was a long plan. It was like a long plan. It's like when you're making the money in the plantation, that's when you start doing your business. <laughs> Folks, wait till they get fired or wait till things it's go too wrong. Too late. You gotta build. <laughs> you put that work in because you can't work anywhere forever. But the ideal thing I would love to see more of us do is family business. Tourism is like one of the best business. Like we have the best countries for tourism. But then you see who running tourism. You know, usually, you know, it's some, uh, you know, usually it's white-owned companies, you know, mm -hmm. especially like you go to South Africa, that's dominate the market. So I tell people, I was like, yo, you better, you know, create the, your own way. The world we live in is is competitive, you know. I was like, and trust me, you know, when you put the work in and study, and especially since we have computer technology, you know, he was asking me about a website. He was like, how did you do this? I was like, I sat here and read <laughs> the manuals and followed directions and learned how to do those things. But then, the, the, I guess the advantage I have is. I come from you know a military uh, technical background as far as being an aircraft just technician, pay <laughs> or I, and you know and you know and a civilian aircraft technician, and you're doing the work you do is like, is like literally like when when people tell you that everything is in a book, that was beaten in my head. Everything is in a book because every because the people who create any kind of technology, whether it's computers, phones, they write their manuals of what is you know how everything operates and so on. So you as a technical person. You read and you study and you learn those things. Mm -hmm. you know? That's why I tell Check folks that like, don't let these people recruit you into their military to go shoot nobody that could go get have you know, make sure you learn something. No, absolutely. Book and create yeah, and something that. from whatever it is you are learning. Yeah, so and you know, just like you know, you go out there for careers and things, you know, learn things that's gonna elevate and advance your mind. So when we do tourism, it's just a lot goes into it, but it's a market that we as a people like, you know, can can really get more into. And from there, you know, because I'll tell you about the next set of moves you're making is real estate development. You know, we have that land, the Pan African community, and then, Absolutely. And then you know, building more connections with the chief. People get excited. They're like, "Wait a minute! You mean to tell me I could buy me a plot of land for two thousand five hundred dollars? Yeah." Yeah, and, and the, the thing you know, of it that's is like a great investment. Working tourism and going to the country and seeing different parts of the country and building connections with real people. Yes. And it opens up the door for more things. So now. We, you know, we can think about doing tourism, but also we can think about doing real estate development. Um, the beach is right there, and I want to be able to be people representation to get whatever projects worked out. 
uh, in the long run once we prove that we can build the 15 acre community because a lot of times you know we have to just really prove ourselves because so much of us have talked so much stuff mm -hmm. you know like these folks that say about Garvey Town they use Marcus Garvey name that they build a community and but it's like when it's when, when, it, when the money gets to them and it's time to do the work and set things up then people just you know it's like you got to follow through you know what I'm saying you got to follow through and be able to manage and organize your money and I, me I mentioned that operation but it's no different from the typical us sometimes you know like I was telling people about another project called Fianca and I'm gonna call these two people out all the time Garvey Town and Fianca because it's the greatest unorganized mismanagement operation you know you're trying to tell our people that you're gonna build a community for them but you you know but the basic foundations of business you're not you know you're not perfecting you know communicating Definitely, you know, receipts, organizing the money, making sure things are taken care of. Like, you was on a trip with us, and, you know, and, you know, everything was paid for ahead of time. Everything was taken care of. There was no disputes with bills, no, I owe you later. Everybody got taken care of all the you know? stuff. And that's what we have to do. So, you know, when we see people like that, we have to use them as an example, say that we can't do this because we may not always get these chances and opportunities to prove and deliver things to our people. And that's why when you went on the journey for a lifetime, it's like, it's showtime. It's time for us to step our game up and like execute this. People pay their money up front and, this is and what people do what you ask are. them to do Absolutely. and they show up in the country, now you have to execute. So, you know, the rest of the, you know, our folks, family, you know, and, and we, have, we, have to, we have to shut down these fake people who talk all this stuff and don't represent and follow through because at the end of the day, you know, it, People around the world hear it, you know, mm -hmm. and that's why you know, when, I, when we spoke to the chief, he said, once you get things going on this 15 acres of land, then we can do some more business with you. But to be like Garvey Town, get like 300 acres, and then 15 years later, just be like dumb, deaf, and blind, and stupid, and you know, it's like, it's just unacceptable. Mm. So that's why we have to take these people to court, and you know, and that's why I love lawyers and, 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 and law, because people need to be accountable, you know, and that's what we are, and so... Yes, this business is complex and everything, and it deals with a lot of things that can go wrong, but you have to stay on top of things. A lot of times, like I said, we try to do last minute things and trying to run around you know, chasing our tail. We have to stop all of that. So, you know, we, so this Africa for the Africans family, it represents us as elevating ourselves to a higher level. And my sister and other people that's going to be doing this business, you know, you know, we want you to focus on that. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Focus. And put that work in. Just like you, we we don't make no excuse to make sure that we're on that job on time because we know what's gonna happen if we get a few <laughs> a few different back to back lateness. You know, they call it occurrences. You're out of here. So you know, just like how we take other folks' work and business serious, let's take our own serious and build this nations of business enterprises and everything. Uh, so that's where we at, family. Well said. I we love talk that. about taking it to that next level. And you know, like. When we do tourism, this is the book that we give you. We don't just give you a flimsy piece of paper and say this is your schedule at 10. We give you a real book with investment information and things like that. You know, so this, you know, not just patting ourselves on the back, but saying that, you know, that, you know, we put the work in and we feel proud that we're still here. This is the 13th anniversary of our, you know, of our Africa for Africans taking our brothers and sisters to the continent. You know, 13 straight years and this is coming up on my uh, si uh, 16th year of traveling to Africa. Wow. March will be 16 years since I went to Senegal in March of 2004. Yeah, so it's, all, it's all these dates, uh, you know, and a lot of times it's in my mind. But, uh, and, you know, Congratulations. And, yeah, it was something that changed my life. I literally went to Gori wow. Island and I had this nightmares about why I'm to ancestors because I was like, wow, how did I not notice? It? Why weren't we taught mm. what happened to our ancestors? And, not just told that you know our folks sold us into slavery and then that was it wow. and then and, you know so and, and, and that I I must say I agree because when I first went to um, Johannesburg and um, back in 2013 ever since I touched down I think my whole life and concept of thinking was like oh my god I gotta get back to Africa and I gotta bring as many people as right, possible there you go. I gotta get that like that was like my mission my mission was just to connect my African my African Americans my Caribbean people in Africa like we are one like and that's what my goal is and that's what we about to just continue to do we're doing it like you said yeah, exactly that's it, what it, i'm gonna do but i'm taking it to like, another level every day every day every day is an action day and you're literally 
doing certain things. Like I tell, that's that's why I'm not on YouTube. When you see, you just you just see highlight videos because you're not on YouTube. I'm not on YouTube. I, no, I'm, I'm not on YouTube. Of Africa. <laughs> I'm just saying we're not on YouTube like that where we just on there gossiping because right? you know. Uh, we're so something. we yes, just literally show change. you all of the highlights in country. You know, most of the time I'm buying a camera, but we're showing you what we're doing and working on and. You know, and you know, it's about being practical, and it's about you know, just representing. So we want to be that example for us in the 2020 and go on. That is all about black empowerment and us taking it to that level and taking over and getting back to where we need to be at, to where we don't have to. Oh, you know, where whenever our, our brothers and sisters come to us, we can actually offer them jobs. Like yes, when we God. build this these enterprises yes, in Africa, mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell folks if you want some work, come to you know, come, come to home. Ghana, <laughs> come to wherever you know different countries you're gonna be at and establish. Uh, you know, because right now, literally, you know, it's like we have a great opportunity. So I tell folks, like, don't just come for 2019 year return and party mm -hmm. and and after chilla and this enjoy is everything. Awakening. You can Come enjoy on, that absolutely, action. but make sure you get into business, make sure absolutely. you know about what's going on because Invest. if we don't invest in our continent, other people will and absolutely. they will do the same thing as like well, I was saying when our, we first uh, left from uh, Jamaica and 88 and we came to New York and I was like, Yo, everybody own everything except for black folks. And you're a child, but you see that. You, know, you go to yes. the, the Chinese man, everything is over here, the Italian, the French, you know, like, the us? European Jews. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know, where, where's this us? So it was like, you know, when I hear about Marcus, when I learn about Marcus Garvey, and, you know, we learn about Africa of Africans, it's like, yo, it's like, that's what I tell people. Don't use Marcus Garvey, Malcolm X, or any of our, you know, historic revolutions name in vain. If you're going to put the name in your business organization or your bank definitely account or anything, represent. you better do that work because, you know, we're going to shut you down and <laughs> ancestors are rolling over their grave when, you know, when, you know, when, whenever people hear about Garvey Town because he's like, you know, Marcus Garvey's about organization, Malcolm X, anyone, you name the names that we talk about and it's like, you know, we don't have to you know, we don't have to do the same things that they did, but we have to take things to the next level. It's kind of like continuing a certain that's movement. That's what we're doing. And that's what I talk and about. And that's what we are doing. Yeah, family legacy. So you Absolutely. build a business in tourism, um, real estate development. You're not just trying to sell that business off to some white person. You're trying to keep that business a family and expand. And we're really talking about business development family because that's where it has to be. You know, it's, um, and I think someone was asking me about coming to some, uh, coming to a certain country um, in Africa, and I said, family, I don't just get up and get on planes and just go anywhere, just to go anywhere. You know what I mean? Yes. When we're there in Ghana, you saw what I did. I took Fair everyone enough. to land, and you know, we did a business conference, and we, you know, we, we did a whole lot of networking. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's like it has to be fruitful, and that's what I want us to really just focus on. Wow. Well, you're going to definitely get some of that to take this tour. I'm telling you. And the next tour to Ghana is going to be May 2020. Come on. Go to www.africafortheafricans.org. This is the man that's going to get you there and take you to the next level. Come and invest. Yes, family. So the tours we have is, uh, you know, is Ghana, Ghana in May and December. So we have you know, I've grown it to where it's, it works good in those two different uh, time frames. Uh, then Senegal is April along with the Gambia, uh, you know, five days in Senegal, three days in Gambia. Uh, and then South Africa we have for November. Um, so all the dates, all the details, because we want people to be clear on information is on our website, africafortheafricans.org. So family, uh, this once again, it's that 13th year anniversary and we're going to use that foundation to build on and build on and you know keep a legacy going <laughs> you know and we're going to conglomerate cuz you know it's you know when you when you trying to really take it to that level you need other people focused so yourself and a few other people that you know we can all come together and Absolutely. be a community of business you know and some enterprising we won we won let's do yeah. it <laughs> so family that land also is for that right there so you know wish us the best and you know and don't no, just no don't wish us the best come and, and just come and, and don't participate just, yeah don't don't, don't just uh, stand on the sidelines <laughs> that's right uh, you know join us in the movement Absolutely. and the connection to Africa <laughs> and even if you're not traveling or coming with us you know make sure that uh, you know you connect with uh, you know connect with the best of us Absolutely. and if people don't put the work in uh, to be the best, then 
Yeah, you don't, you're suffering. You shouldn't, you shouldn't mess with them, right? Like you're you said, you want to mess with the best, right? That's only the greatest. Surround yourself with nothing but the greatest, and don't. always rock with the best. If I'm oh. around it, you know it's the best. And just for my jewel of the day, thank you for my 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 love girl, my love rum. What is it? My rose quartz. Thank you. I love you, Bobby. <laughs> that's what's up. Anything else you want to share with our folks, uh, our, our family that's looking to just travel to Africa? Just to be amazing. Come, make sure you check out www.africafortheafricans.org. This is the man of the hour that's going to take you to the journey of your lifetime. I, I trust him. And if I'm me, the queen of Africa, the positivity queen, can hang out with him, trust me, you can. So he's the best. Only, only surround yourself with greatness. Come on, check it out. Absolutely, family. She, 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 she. You know, as you can see, she's here, live, vibrant, and breathing. She made it back safe, no scars, yes. no nothing, and all other crazy things that people think may happen to us. Like we got you. You, you notice the bus pulled up, got us in the airport, and took us around the country. I came didn't have any doubt. And Never dropped us once. off. And the whole time, you I know, always surround myself. But those, those are for the non-sayers that thought it was gonna be something like. Who yeah, knows? we have people think you go in the huts, and well, we did go to our chalets. But you have to come and see. Yeah, it's a safe journey, that. family. We have, we have security. We have good people watching our back. And most of the people we Night deal with life, are literally people we have dealt with ceremony, over. shopping. Like, we did it all. Good food. History lessons. I didn't even tell them about WBE Du Bois. Like, that was one thing. I, I've All the times I've ever gone to Ghana. Wow, you've never I've been there? I've never been there. That's why you should That's come on tour, family. A must, a must, a must. It's like living in New York City. So what happened? you don't go to the Statue of Liberty. You know, it's like something. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, so what happened? I'm, you've been I, to Ghana so many times. Like, right, and several I, times. I, we're going to tell them what, what, we, what I learned. One thing that I learned is that his body, his remains, not his body, his ashes are still there. I thought it was in New York City all this time, like in Harlem somewhere, but it's in Ghana. Like, wow. It was just, you know, it's a yeah. lot to learn. You find out about all the freedom fighters. Like, it was awesome. That tour was really, really nice. You really raised the bar, so I have a and, lot. And very to educational. Absolutely. Like, we're, we're, one thing about when Absolutely. you go with us, like I said, you know, you're going to learn a whole lot. You're going to, like, you I said, Matt, like I said, Matt, so it's a game. <laughs> some people, I brought people there, they was like, we didn't know this existed. I was like, yes. yeah, there's a lot of things we're not going to know because, you know, it's like, because it's like, is this some kind of secret? Like, <laughs> if you if you read a book, you gotta you gotta Wait, find it's out. It's more than just the dungeons, and the dungeons are like the most incredible thing about Ghana. But then I was like, whoa! Don't tell them everything that happens. On well, the, the, well, the good thing about it, well, everything is recorded, so it's like you know. And the reason for that is, just come and, it, well, and, and it's not it everything. It's just it's a little bit highlights, but oh things gosh. are recorded so people can literally like you know like right now if you go on uh, my YouTube page and you go to playlist. You see a whole playlist of different tours yes. where you see like 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 one Ghana tour has like 150 videos and it's like you know it's like when people talk about series that's like you know you're seeing a highlight of a whole lot yeah. so that you know and you don't have to watch all them well, you, you can do what you want to do but I'm it's like just keep it we're literally so showing you, you <laughs> everything that's going on so you can know that way you don't it's not you, a game yeah because some people have some itineraries that I question I'm like. You know, it's like you know, like you see these figures four or five thousand dollars, and you look at that tenor and it's like, what? We literally work for Did they work for you. W B E the boys. Like? Well, people are gonna include some of the uh, basic stuff, but you, okay. you, as you can see, we go beyond just the basic. The, absolutely. So that's why there's highlights of everything that we do on tour, so you can see it, and that's why the tenor is laid out. But family, enough said, ma'am. My it's sister, coming. you're awesome, and so literally you. appreciate your energy. And seeing is believing. Absolutely. And, uh, experience and, is the and, best and gift of life. There you go. So experience Africa with us and uh, join the movement and Come energy on. of black power nation building in Africa. All right, so family, we keep it strong. Everyone. <laughs>